I'm Stefano Portigliati, and I practice law at Coker Law in Jacksonville, Florida. I've been practicing law since 2013, and I chose to practice law because of a case that I got to work on. My goal was to get back into running some family businesses, and I got the opportunity to work on a case that exposed me to some pretty bad conduct on the part of a business that was hurting a lot of people. I had this notion that plaintiff or personal injury lawyers were all kind of ambulance chasers and you know, greedy or what have you. And, and, and seeing the bad conduct intentionally done with no regard for consequences just lit a fire in me that made me, made me completely switch, you know, my mindset uh, and, and want to help people. So I became board certified in trucking litigation to really develop that niche uh, and be able to help people in, with any kind of uh, case that involves a commercial motor vehicle, be it a semi or a bus, uh, or sometimes a pickup in a trailer, uh, but uh, you know that may still classify as a commercial vehicle. I chose to get into commercial vehicle cases because they tend to be about more than just that incident. Uh, there's usually, you know, that's just a, a symptom of an underlying problem. So when a truck driver falls asleep, and crashes into stop traffic, there's going to be some links <laughs> underneath the surface that explains, you know, a systemic issue that uh, I'd like to fix or, or expose <laughs> or have them, you know, recognize. They tend to involve real harm. Uh, not that other cases don't, but, you know, these are cases where uh, these are heavy trucks uh, or these are, you know, children in a school bus. Um, and the harm is there, the story is there, and you just, these are people that really need help. I chose to become board certified uh, in trucking litigation because you see a lot of billboards and radio advertisements talking about trucking accidents and what have you. Uh, but very few people can really grasp the regulatory body that's out there and all the industry norms and standards and practices. Um, so I, I believe that having that certification would tell a potential client, all right, it, this is not just advertisement. Someone has verified that he knows what he's talking about. We had a trial uh, where the defense, when we first sent them a letter explaining that, you know, we represented this gentleman and we had a case and we wanted to try to resolve the case, they, they called it a frivolous claim. Three years later, um, we were able to get a verdict for $14.6 million. After plenty of opportunities for them to come to the table and negotiate and try to work something out. But it was a highlight, not because of the number, but because of how much he was doubted uh, and how much prejudice was played upon by the defense. And to see a jury of very different people be able to just cut right through all of that and you know touch the heart of the matter was very encouraging and, and, and fulfilling um, I had a client that didn't speak English so you know everything had to be to through an interpreter so we had 13 days of trial with a lot of witnesses that didn't speak English um, we had you know some evidence that that at first glance didn't look good but um, I knew that if, if people really listened to, to the facts and understood what the law requires, they'd be able to see through it. And, you know, you have to trust the jury to do that. And, and they, they, they came through big time.